So now that you've learned how to create a personal view in Microsoft Dynamics 365 using the advanced find feature, um, you'll see I'm already in here from last time. Um, you may find, let's say that you, you know, made a mistake somehow. Maybe you, um, you know, put these all together and you put them under the wrong issue or something. You may have been asking yourself how I did that for you. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that in case that you ever do need to edit. Of course, you can always go into the case itself, just like I'm doing now, and you could do, you can you know, make your edits within the case one by one. Uh, however, if it's all the same and you don't want to make those changes, this is a quick and easy way to do that. So, um, what you're going to do is you will select all that you are going to uh, change. In this case, if I'm going to do all of these cases, I would just click that. If I wanted to just choose a few, I could do that. Uh, one thing to note, if let's say uh, this is a large group, maybe over 50, um, sometimes it will be on multiple pages. Okay, So if it is on multiple pages, you can only do one page at a time, which is typically, I believe, around 50. So if you go over that, then you'll have to do it page by page. But you're going to select, and here I can see you know, 1 of 22, and I have 22 selected. I can now notice that there is a little edit button up here that I can choose. So I'm going to click on the edit button. And when I do that, I now see all of the fields that I normally put in my cases. Okay, so let's say in this case, um, you know, maybe I'm going to go ahead and add a different uh, graphic designer because I see that some were not put in there, uh, and I want to make sure that they're all assigned to her. Okay, so I can go in there and I choose that, and then all I have to do over here is click change and now they are going to be updated. And I don't know if you noticed at the beginning, but not all of these were filled in, and now they're filled in. So that's how you bulk edit.